Hello, welcome back to Silverstone Shooting Centre. In this one, our first episode in a series of programmes about practical shooting, specifically practical mini rifle. Our idea of this series of programmes is to really take advantage of the work we've been doing the last six months. Uh, since we've opened, we've carried out five safety courses for practical shooters, introducing to the more static shooter into the world of practical shooting, dynamic shooting, running around. All these courses are designed to really get people a grounding in terms of how to shoot and safely in a dynamic environment. <clears throat> now, all these people have come through and said, I want to know more, I want to learn on it. And also my father once said to me after I passed my driving test, he says, now you pass your test, now you learn to drive. So we've got a few programs coming up now, about eight in total, where we're going to give some people some, just some tips, some training ideas, and some ideas about once you know you've passed your safety course and you know what you're doing in terms of shooting, what's the next step? Ideally competition. The idea behind this is really to give someone who's never competed before at least a good idea where to start, what to go for, and some little tricks and ideas to work on. Now there's lots of different kinds of practical shooting. Obviously there's LBP, there's shotgun, there's mini rifle. So what we're going to do in this series is purely concentrate on mini rifle. That's primarily what we do here at Silverson Shooting Centre. But a lot of what we discuss here and a lot of what we explain will transfer to other disciplines with some subtle differences. Now, <clears throat> other aspect about practical shooting is that it's by definition very varied in type and style. So we're going to start off our series with the one thing which is consistent on every single course of fire anywhere around the world. Start position. No matter what you're doing, where you're going, what kind of course of fire, you will have to start. And arguably it's also the most complex and also the most easy to get wrong, the most easy to get disqualified for, and also the easiest to get really get some good points if you're quick at it. So I'm here in the range of my own. I'm with my race gun, just Smith and Western 1522. Mine's fitted slightly differently. <coughs> I run a canted aimport red dot sight, as you can see just here, and then a Vortex Viper 1 to 4 PSG scope. It's a customized gun for me, so slightly different, but pretty much it's the same gun you can buy over on the shops, just slightly different in terms of specifications. <coughs> I'm alone in the range, so there's no one else here. I do have ear protection in, but it's not the over ear stuff. Starting positions, there are different kinds. One on the cover has different kind of positions to start from, and also different positions of condition the gun is in. So, first thing at first, 90% of all start positions start off with the range officer, the RO, telling you what to do. Crucial thing about competing is don't do anything until someone tells you to. The idea of wandering up behind with your gun or starting to load it or do something behind us will get you disqualified quicker than you can blink. The crucial thing is to consider is that as far as everyone's concerned, every gun is loaded by looking at it, and therefore, you, until you approach a line, until you are instructed to do something, most importantly load, do not do anything at all. We'll go through some range commands later on the series rather than putting it all into one program, but we'll try and do it as quickly as we can. So, <clears throat> I've been called forward to go shooting. Um, there are a variety of start positions, and we're going to start with the most common one, which is simply the ready position. Now, there are subtle differences between pistol and everything else there, so again, we're going to concentrate on mini rifle. But the ready position is literally ready to start. Okay? From a position standing from here, gun will be pointing down range. And there'll be maybe certain regulations what you can and can't do, but generally for Silvers and Shooting Centre we're a muzzle down rather than muzzle up. But generally what you want to try and do is make sure the gun is parallel to the range to the floor. And for a starting position, the stock must be touching your belt. Now, I'm left-handed here so I can cover it up, but touching doesn't necessarily mean where it can be. It can be back here, it can be right the way forward, it can be anywhere where you're comfortable for it in terms of position. But it must be parallel to the ground, and that butt must touch in your belt. So basically, all that little start position up here, yeah, not gonna happen, okay? And those people who shoot play shooting, where you used to go up here, even worse. That's just a ready position to start off with. Your feet need to be, ideally you can't be in a sprint position, but generally regulations are pretty open about how you stand. Some people sit there in a full sprint, ready to run. Some people are a bit more relaxed. Entirely up to you. And also in the point of all these programs are doing now, there's no right or wrong way of doing it. Okay, there's an illegal and a legal way of doing it, but no right and wrong, whichever's comfortable for you. If you feel more comfortable sitting there ready to go, like Usain Bolt, then you do it. If you're more relaxed guys sort of sitting there going, yeah, okay, I'm ready to go, no problem. As long as that muzzle's the right direction, and as long as you're paying attention to the RO in terms of loading and making ready, that's the most important thing. Okay, that's the most common position to start with. Now in terms of training for this, obviously we have a range, it's a lot easier, but if you go to your own local club, you will be able to practice this in the 
particular stands you've got, depending on whether they're open or not. Because you are still, say, facing down range, you are still holding your rifle in a safe position, and you can practice the idea of when the beep goes off, up and ready to fire. The thing about shooting, especially practical shooting, it's all about muscle memory. It's constant repetition of the same process. The quicker you can go from the ready position up to stopping your shoulder and onto your sight, onto target, is going to get you the points. So the practice really is to go from ready position up to a firing position and then going again, over and over and over again. So I don't have a beep with me now because that's a useful thing to have, to have your own timer and the beep goes off and you go, but really it's a question of timing process behind it. What I'll do later on is I'll get the timer out, we'll start doing some timing as well if we can. Okay, the crucial thing about it is constant repetition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up and make ready, that's what I always told me to do, and I'm going to practice literally going from the ready position to putting two shots on the first target. Now it's quite common in UK competitions because of the size of our ranges that you will have a shot on target the moment you start. A lot of European competitions, for example, you tend to have to traverse somewhere on the range to get to the first point to shoot. In the UK, because of our size positions, generally speaking, there's a shooting point from the starting point. So this is a very useful thing to do, useful thing to practice as well, because you get some nice easy points to get them straight on. So what I'm going to do is issue you through three or four details, practicing, going up, getting ready, and putting two shots down range, and then resetting again. So I'll load up. And what I'm going to do is, importantly, guns on safe, that's quite crucial. My fingers off the trigger, again, quite crucial, but I'm in a loaded position. I'm going to cover the loaded positions in a second. What I'm doing is concentrate and purely on this start. There's a ready position. My butt is touching the belt, and I'm ready to go as quickly as I can up and put two on. Each time I reset, so I reset my safety, so my safety is currently on as fast as I can to go up from safety, bring off trigger, two rounds. So now I'm empty. That goes to the process of what you're It's a repetition test. The quicker you can do it over and over and over again, and you can practice that at your own range. Obviously check with your range officer what you can and can't do in terms of process, but you're not moving too much around, therefore you're still staying in a student position. But that speed to get up and on target as fast as you can will pay dividends in terms of competition. Now while I'm here, loaded positions. There's different kinds of positions. Now, Again, I'm not going to bamboozle you with terms because there's condition one, condition two, condition three, and frankly, they all mean slightly different things whether you're shooting with a pistol or a shotgun or a rifle. So I'm going to keep it very simple. There are really three kinds of positions on the gun. There is empty, there is loaded, and there is also loaded with the chamber forward, okay? So most positions on starting positions will be on a loaded gun. Now, it just depends on who you're shooting, what you're doing. Some course directors like to be very messed up and move magazines around the place, which we'll cover later on in the series. But for starting point, we're going to start off with a loaded position. So, I'm up the stand, I'm ready to shoot, got my eyes and ears on, I'm good to go. What do I do next? The range officer say load and make ready. Now, if you're not sure the starting position, you're perfectly entitled to ask. Okay, simply say, excuse me, RO, I can't remember. Is it a loaded or unloaded start? I'm not sure. The ROs aren't there to catch you out. Well, some are, but generally speaking, they're not. They're designed to help you. The intention on this is to say, look, excuse me, I can't remember, is it a loaded start? And the RO will say, yes, loaded start. So, loaded start, crucial thing about it is, first of all, the safety is in the on or the safe position, okay? So I'll unload my rifle up, chamber forward, that's now ready to fire other than the safety, okay? Again, a crucial thing about practical shooting, we cover this in our courses, the moment I move with this rifle, my finger must be off the trigger. And later on in this series, we're doing some video to show how to keep that trigger finger out. But the important thing is the safety's on. Now you can see I've got a ambidextrous safety here, so I can do it both sides. But generally speaking, it's crucial to have that safety off, okay? Because that gun is loaded, okay? When the start position goes, it's safety off and fire. That's the start position, okay? Now, I'll unload it. And don't worry, I do pick up the live rounds afterwards. You don't throw money away here. One of the other positions is to have is a loaded gun, but with the chamber essentially empty. Now, normally this means that the chamber is, the action on the rifle is forward. 
Now it's quite a crucial thing here because it means your starting position is slightly different. So I'm a loaded gun, but if I put the, the reaction forward now, I'm going to load around into the chamber. So chamber forward means I have a load, I have the action forward. So now I put the gun, the loaded the guns in, ammo in, I don't have one in the chamber. So before I actually start to shoot, I've got to rack around into the chamber. This is a really common where new people to shooting just forget. You know, you're ready to go off, you go and everything else say, okay, click bang, oh, nothing in there, off I go, wrap the action through. So this is a good practicing to have. And again, you can do this on your range depending on what your range or walls are. You're not moving too much. Now, the crucial thing about this is your movement now, you don't need to have your safety on, okay? There's no round in the chamber, technically it's an empty gun. Now, I have seen range officers demand one way or the other, so it's always best to ask. As far as I'm concerned, that's an empty gun. There's, there's a magazine full of rounds in it, but there's nothing in a chamber, therefore it's empty. But you do get some commands where they say the safety must still be on. So for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna keep it the safety on. But it does depend on so it's worthwhile checking each time. So safety on, action forward. I'm in the ready position. So the first thing I've got to do is obviously safety, but I've got to rack around in there. So obviously it's gonna take more time, I've got to remember. So the buzzer goes off. So obviously the time is much faster, in terms, much slower in terms of racking around in first. So if I do that again, get rid of that round, chambers forward, magazine in, I put it on safe, and again, my job is safety off, rack around and shoot. It is obviously much lower. But the good news about it is that you can practice this. Without doing anything, all you're doing is shooting down range. Now ideally you can put targets up a bit closer so you can get a benefit from it. Um, but an important thing to consider obviously is knowing what position your gun is supposed to be in the start of the, of the course of fire, but also remembering that. Amazing how many, how many good plans have gone to action when you're ready to go and fire is not chambered. Now, another course of at the start, which is getting a bit rarer, is to have the same thing. The gun is essentially loaded, magazine in, but the action is back. Now this is reasonably rare, and it's quite useful for people like me who shoot left-handed, because I can rack the action forward on the left-hand side of the receiver. Obviously right-handed people have to come over and sock it. So, I'm gonna do it both ways for you. Um, the idea here is obviously, oh, well, I've only got a few rounds in. I'll do it, it left-hand only. So I've got the action, action's back, magazine is loaded, Again, I could be on fire or on safe because technically it's unloaded. Let's keep the safe safe to make it sensible. Same thing applies. I have to wrap the action forward before I can fire. There's no round in the chamber, obviously. Same thing. Buzzer goes. All of a sudden, you're going bang, bang, bang. There's nothing in the chamber. The same thing applies. It's obviously the safety forward and go from there. So buzzer goes off. I have to bring the action forward. So look at that. That round. That's useful. So basically, there's lots of different things to consider. The idea behind this is just be aware of the terms of start position, aware of what you're doing and aware of the process of what your starting going to be. If you're unsure, speak to the range officer. That's their job to help you. But to bear in mind, especially in terms of safety and positions in there, obviously muzzle angle is the most important thing. Okay? When I go through range commands and walking around the range of the process of another program, but as a starting position, this will occur to every single course of fire you do. It's worthwhile thinking about this and then doing some practice if you can. Okay, next program will be in a week so time. We'll go through the next plan in terms of shooting and training and shooting. Thanks for watching. As ever, subscribe, hit subscribe, check, comment. Always happy to hear any comments from people. Okay. All right, cheers.